Hi guys, welcome to the Suffolk Human Performance Channel. Today's video will be a tutorial on how to use Longo Match video analysis software. Uh, we'll give you the basics on how you can get started using the program. So today's tutorial will be split into three main sections. Uh, first of all, we'll show you how to load some footage into the system and start a project. Then we'll go through how to create some clips and create playlists. And then last of all, we'll show you how to actually make a code window. So if you click on the new icon just here, and then there's a few options you've got. You can click on video file, capture device, uh, fake capture device or uh, IP camera. Uh, but don't worry, we'll be using video file today, so click on that. We'll be using a match from this season, so we'll put in 2017-18. Uh, the competition will be using a match from the Premier League, so we'll just put Premier League. And then the description, you can describe the match however you want. Um, so we'll just put Manchester United versus Palace, so we're using the Manchester United versus Crystal Palace game. And then you can change the date as well. So you can change the date to the match or if it's today's date. Then we'll select which dashboard we'll be using. So today we'll be using the post-match individual. You can adjust the teams if you wanted to, so you can move players in or out. You can change the formation. Um, if you've created templates for teams for the home and away, you can create them as well. Um, but today we're not gonna use those so we'll just go up to the video footage and select the game that we want. Here it is on our desktop and then just click open. And then you'll see that that's been populated into that little window there. So you can click the tick to go into the next screen. Now this is the synchronization screen. Um, if you had more than one camera angle, you could sync them up together so they flow at the same time. We're only using one today, so we'll click OK or the tick. And then this is our main window. The main window is split into four main sections. So you have the video viewer up here in the top right hand corner. Then you have like your, your dashboard there, so you where the buttons that you press. And you have your teams in the bottom left. And then this top left is the called the events list. And that's where all the clips are we put into. Um, we're not using the teams today, so you can click on these little green dots and drag the screen across to your left hand side. That just makes the code window big bigger so it's easier to use. Uh, you can also do the same thing just under the time, there's three little green dots and you can drag that down, it makes the video bigger. Uh, you're just looking for trying to get the biggest window you possibly can without making the buttons too small and we can do that on the left hand side here as well. You can control the video on these buttons along here, so we can click the play button and that'll obviously play the video and you can play it again to stop it or to pause it. Uh, you can also use the space bar to do that function as well. Uh, just make sure you reduce the jump time down to zero. You can also drag this slider across to move yourself through the game. As you can see the game moving across here. We'll put that back to the start to begin with. And you can also use the left and the right keys to skip forward uh, a second at a time as well, as well as the space bar being start and stop. You see this slider on the right hand side, this affects the playback speed. So you can drag it up and down uh, to make the clip go faster or slower. So if you drag it up, you can see it changes to two times or three times or four times faster. And you can also um, drag it down and it will make the clip go uh, slower. You can also amend these playback functions, but just by using the up and the down arrow as well, like that. There are some control buttons on the right hand side. So you can click on this little white box, this disable pop-up, so we'll click on that. And then that will stop any windows popping up when we create the clips during the game. You can click on this button here called edit dashboard. So then you can select any button out of your code window and you can change any aspects of it you like. Um, you could change the lead and the lag time. You can have a look, you can change uh, a manual button or an automatic button change the color of the text, color of the background, completely up to you. And then when you're finished, just click that little button again, and it takes you back. These buttons here can stretch the code window, so you can, depending on how you want to view or how you want to see the uh, code window, I like to keep it on this aspect, but 
you can feel free to change that however you like. So there are all the basic controls and here we'll show you how to make a clip of the match. So if we just play the footage on now, and I've moved it forward because I know there's a goal coming up. And then as soon as the goal hits the net, we'll click our mouse on the goal button. And then you'll see in the top left, you'll see that a clip with the goal has been created. I think goal 001. Let me just drag that up. There you go. So then if we clicked on that goal, now we've created a 25 second clip of that goal that we can drag it forwards and backwards, depending on where we want to look at it. We click the red X to get out and then we're back into our main code window or our main code video. Now if we decide that that clip may be too long or it might be too short, so we can click on this timeline view here and this will list all our clips on the timeline and then we can drag the clip on the left or the right side to make it longer or shorter at the start or longer and shorter at the end of the clip and you see that the clip size actually gets longer just there and if we want to go back into tagging view we just click on the little tag the x again to come out of the clip and then we're back into our normal into our main long video we can click play if we just skip it forward a section and i'll show you a manual button so we'll click on this manual button here and you'll see that the timer is moving forward so that means we have to turn that button off again so if we click it off and then you'll see on the top left in our events that there's another video has been made under theme one so that's the manual button on and off so now we've made two clips we've made an automatic clip with a lead and lag time which was the goal and then we've made just the manual clip in the theme one those clips into a playlist I'll show you now so if you click on in the top left hand corner the little lines where it's a little playlist view and then we click on this little plus where it create new playlists and then we can give it a name and go add and you'll see that we've got a new playlist that's been populated there so then go back into our tag view and we can right mouse click on the clip and then add to playlist there we go and we do the same with the second clip add to playlists new playlist and if we go back into our playlist view and we'll have a look at our players we'll see that it's got both of the clips on there now if we want to export that as a separate file we just go right mouse click and render and we can change a few details if we want it 720 or 1080p and then we can give it a name if we want to and then you click ok but we'll just cancel out that for the time being so that's how we create a project uh, add the video file and then create some clips uh, and next we'll show you how to create that code window or that dashboard uh, which we used just a second ago so to create a dashboard uh, we'll click on the dashboard icon on the main home screen just here and then this will give us a list on the left hand side of any dashboards we might have saved so we could have different ones for uh, different sports or if we're doing pre-match or post-match analysis so we'll just click on new dashboard here give it a name and then we can change how many events we want on there put that down to one give it call it test and then okay and then you'll see we've got our code window or our dashboard here these are the label buttons up here and then we can right mouse click and delete those if we want to and then you've got a tagging button there that creates an event and then we can we could right mouse click and delete that if we wanted to as well so we click on this button here to add an event and there it is on the right hand side so we can click and then drag that anywhere we want in our window we could position it under there move it down anywhere you want really and these are the buttons that actually create the events and create the individual clips uh, in your timeline that's what we used earlier so you click on this little dot and you can drag it around resize it make it as big or as small as you want different size and then you can edit the details in here so you can change the name of the event that. we'll just call this goal change the color 
So we'll make this red. we go and you can give it a hotkey so as it's goal you might as well give it G for goal hotkey change the color of the text put this as white okay so then we can change it with an automatic or a manual button you'll see manual signified by the red dot but we'll keep this one as automatic and then you can change the lead and the lag time so you can just create it smaller or bigger as it's a goal but about 15 seconds and then drop that down for the lag we won't be using the tag uh, sections today so we can just skip past those so we can untick the tag view there and then you see we've got a button on there with goal so then every time we press that button that will make a clip with the goal on so we can basically click as many these buttons make as many as these as we want so we'll drag another one down We could change the name of this one if we wanted to, to anything you want. Call this one corner. And change the color. Again, change all the tag and options if we wanted to as well. So that's how to make the event buttons. If you, we're not going to use label buttons today, but if you wanted to drag a label button down, you just click on the label button up at the top there. And again, they can be mended exactly the same, drag them around, resize them, change the color, etc. So when you're happy with your code window, you can click on the little disk there to save it. And you'll see it populates in the left hand column. So then we can check that it's actually working by clicking the back arrow on the top right. And then we go new, like we were creating a new project. And then you see in the top right hand corner on our drop down list, it will have our new code window there. So then when we go into our, if we went into a new project, then our new code window would be populated. So they're the basics for Longo Match. I'll leave a link in the description and where you can download the free open source version of Longo Match from their website. I hope you found it useful and enjoyed the video. If you did, leave us a thumbs up or a comment and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.